Talk about ungrateful. Talk about... Well, I mean, I guess she's just an ex. I can't really call her stupid, but... Okay, just <laughs> oh, look, another battle zombie. Sidewave. Really? Sidewave. Yeah. Didn't even hit. Didn't even hit. I'm very disappointed in that. I feel like someone died. I don't know. See the data log, but I've all just been like really quiet. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna have to start doing some grinding just to keep my Pokemon levels up. Yep. I always like beat the Pokemon games with like. 10 levels under leveled <laughs> because I don't grind or when I do I, I I'll i grind all my team up to some even level and then just not uh, grind for the rest of the game then you'll get really boring <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, it's not like all it's not all of them I need to grind it's just like certain ones but fucking hell like La Luna and Star Wyvern yeah and I think even Core Shark needs a couple more levels as well yeah but I, I think Bush Axe is pretty powerful. Well, they were 45 or around that. Like this yeah. Point. Even Davio Boss as well. Oh, look, Atropius. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine with me. Wait, did yeah, I just like. Did I just like avoid a battle? I'm not avoiding battles here. I want to do as many as I can. Don't start this <laughs> bullshit. Oh my god, really? It was near death, why couldn't you just hit the friggin' uh, Me be that. Bloody crappy... Soul walk. Do you mean it was near v -death? It was near v -deading. Did I just... What move did you use to burn me? Uh, Cause I did not... <laughs> I don't know of any... So why you already burned? No... Oh. Ooh, Luna's learning Spaga. But no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you Spaga. You don't you don't deserve Spaga. You don't have any Spaga. Don't don't try and lie, you don't have Spaga. Did you just skip battle? <laughs> no. Yes you did. I've already beaten that guy. Oh. Dumbass. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Oh. <laughs> oh, oops. Dark throw. That's fine, you can rest, I don't mind. Balloon. Fire spin. Psywave. Really? Part fighting. I know, but Psywave should have done something. That's why I went for it. You keep forgetting his part fighting is hilarious. Yeah, Psychic is strong against fucking fighting, which yeah, is so why it's I flying. Was... It's four times effective against that. Yeah, I don't have any flying types. Do you not remember that? Oh. This is what I gotta put up with, folks. This is what I gotta put up with. <laughs> someone trying to be that a happens. smart. Someone trying to be a smart bastard and failing. I'm not the rich one with the yellow vest. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. I am actually pretty damn rich in this game. 418, 419 grand. <laughs> like, jeez. I mean, you basically never spend anything, though. That's why. I mean, true, true. Oh, no. No, not again. Riff my sanity. Hey, here's a backstory to these guys, Callum. They're all friggin' nuts. Basically. Basically. 
Not your box though. Hmm. There is an actual proper backstory to them, but we kind of find it out later on in the game. Yeah, and but I'm still, not... they're all nuts and they're all really just. Oh not yeah, they're all freaking nuts and annoying. They they look like um, that guy off what is it Pokemon XT the dancing Afro guy. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, Mirabee. Mirabee, the uh... yeah. yeah. Uh, and his, his team of Weedicolos. Yeah. Oh god, like yeah. five six Weedicolos at once. That that's just shows how freaking gangster he is. You don't care about what sort of Pokemon he uses, he uses whatever he likes. He uses the dancing one. Hey, I used a Ludico on my rain team, he's really good staller. Oh yeah, that's true, oh. definitely. So, best play style in the game. No, it's not. You know it. It's disgraceful. You also know that. I mean, water type is like the best type to stall with, definitely. It is. The right. thing is, though, is that when you come across stall nowadays, it's not the proper type of stall. The proper type of stall is basically... Ah, okay, Luna just got vexed by a mill tank. Oh, please! <laughs> I just got destroyed by a cow. <laughs> I mean, it kind of suits you, to be fair. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Bad. It's true, it's true. You can't deny it. I'm denying it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, as I was saying about stall, like the best kind of stall is basically when it's done right. And to do stall right, you need to actually like make sure there's a way of your opponents actually dying. Rather than yeah, I know, instead of running down the tower or oh, the God, timer. Yeah. That's yeah. just fucking ridiculous. And the stall is the worst. Timer and PP Sol is without a doubt the most stupidest thing ever. Like, why they My made favorite it way to stall is definitely rot on wash with pain split and toxic. Oh, you've mm. never met my Amoongus then? Oh, oh Amoongus. Oh. I use a lower mobile as well. Mm. <laughs> okay. No, this is a thing. I've actually ended a match with, yeah. uh, with an Amoongus before. Yeah, he beat the living day myself to someone with a new image sometimes. Yeah, I think it was like, he had like four Pokemon, and I destroyed each of them with an Amoongus. With a <laughs> one of them being a crow, one of them being a Crobat, and the other one being an Infinite. Yeah. A, spe a, a special, a special Infinite, I might add. Amoongus did yeah. this. Amoongus yeah. did this. Amoongus. The mushroom did this. Yeah. The shrooms did this. <laughs> That's actually some of that. Because obviously it got into a video and one of the commentators said, because uh, obviously he likes to do be weird and shit. So he went, Batman, in other words, Crow Bad, right, fell to a pile of mushrooms. What is going on, right? Stop uh, it. Let's go. Oh, have you got to go now? God damn it. Yeah, it's been an hour and a half episode. I'd have been calling it 15 minutes after that. A minute extra. Uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm going to have to just get to a nice place to save and then I can end off the episode then. Poison Sash is a lot more better. Um, you are not who I need to talk to. Poison Slash. Wine Gums, what the fuck? Wine Gums, okay. Wine Gums, oh, I hate I Wine Gums. Really? I love them. No. <laughs> Why? How come you the, don't like them? The, the flavor is just... Re it's really odd. <laughs> yeah. 
Luna's hot to go, by the way. Shame. I know, right? He's got a bit of a lot quieter. <laughs> I think he's probably happy <laughs> about <laughs> it, because... <laughs> I, I don't mean that in a bad way. No, I know. I, I don't normally talk during episodes. I don't know why. I, I really don't know why I don't talk much during my own episodes. Well, you, you really need to find something relevant, don't you, to talk about. Exactly, and when you've been doing a long-ass episode, it kind of runs out of stuff. So you just start doing normal chit-chat, if you can. Yeah. At least when you've got a call commentary, you can. Yeah. Mm. And then if that, if that doesn't really work, you could just... Like, reading out the dialogue and stuff, just every single last bit. Uh, I mainly just do like the important dialogue myself. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Crunch. Crunch. Luna's starting to take names. Have you noticed that? Ever since he left, he's, this Luna, the yeah. survivors, started taking names. Yeah, I know. He's, he's, he's leveled up. An absolute ton. I know, right? From like level 32 when I caught him to level 42 in just one episode. Well, one recording session anyway. Yeah, yeah. I will, of course, obviously be splitting this. Yeah, you don't want to upload a massive episode. Oh, God, no, especially early in the morning. Fuck no. Mm. Let's see. Hello, they call me Dr. Blackthorn. Who might you be? I'm a dog. I see. That egg you carry is intriguing. May I see it? Uh, no, it's kind of about... Uh, what's going on? What? Could that be the egg containing Meteor's daughter? Um, as a matter of fact, it is. Why? What's going on? Will someone please tell me? Quiet, the adults are talking. What's it to you, Doc? I had heard that someone had just attacked the vault and that Meteor's daughter had been freed. So I came rushing over to see if it was true. Thank you for your time. Wait, yes. Do you know where I can find Media so I can take his daughter back to him? I believe you are to head east to Moss Deep to find his current abode. Now, if you've quite finished. No, sorry, but just who are you? A concerned party. Let us say no more than that, hmm? Like you, the current state of affairs worries me, and I am on my own small mission to resolve some of the issues that face this region. I see, so it's of bothered you. Not at all. Might I offer a small piece of advice? These are troubling times, I stock. Please remember that in this region, almost everyone will lie to you. I will not claim that you can trust me, but I will tell you that there are fewer than 20 honest people left in Darwin, and that you and I are two of them. Please bear this in mind. Less than 20 people. I, I don't believe that. Oh, that, that's a mush mask. Oh, please may I have it? I do love mushrooms, so... No? Well, how about I offer this rare and expensive item in exchange? Sure. Okay, so I'm on the next part of a little quest to get a legendary. Legendary? Yeah. What legendary is this? It's a fake moon legendary, and it's basically a big giant mushroom called Termo. No well, joke. Well then. No joke. I really, I'm really glad they made uh, UBO adhesive like a poison type because there's not really enough poison type legendaries. No, that's very true. There isn't. I actually, don't think there's any at all. Uh, actually, you're right. I don't think there actually is. The only one I could think of would be the other Ultra Beast, and to be fair, yeah. some people are wondering if they should even be classed as legendaries. That's what I'm thinking, I don't really know if they should be legendaries or not. I mean, I'm keeping them classed as restricted for the sake of the fact that I don't want people to spam them. Oh yeah, I don't really like the Ultra Beasts. Mm. It's just like... Mainly what you see in OU nowadays is just like legendary spam, and it's... It's so boring. I'm tired of seeing it. Oh, the yeah. goddamn time. I mean, it's, it's 
it's okay if you use like one legendary, I guess, or like one that's well used and fits in with your team. Mm. But we're using like three to four, if not more. It's just stupid and shows that you've got no skill whatsoever. Yeah. And like the thing is with showdown, like you don't even you just make your team think there's not really any feeling behind the legendaries because you've not caught them or anything. Exactly. Like I wish more people in the league had the actual games, because then that's how we would do it. Yeah, but I know. Unfortunately, that's not the case because some people just either don't have the money or they're just too lazy. Which really disappoints yeah. me. I have the games and I, I wouldn't mind do, basing it on the games, but that would mean I, I would have to do a big grind because I, I'd have to complete Sun and Moon because all my Pokemon are in the bank. Yeah. I mean, there's a thing like, I've got like most. Um, Those horribly powerful wild Pokemon. Much stronger than you get from an old one. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna test out this freaking rod to see what we get. Mm hmm. Right, ah, oh, fuck. I really gotta not speed up. But yeah, like, this that thing. I have, like, near. You call that powerful? Oh, no. That's a disgrace. But yeah, it's like, um, oh shit, yeah, I forgot about rough skin. So, I got a bit of so at least everybody can stay alive. But like, as I've been trying to say for a few times now, um, the whole thing with the game is that I have like, pretty much competitive version of most. I won't say all the Pokemon, because yeah. I don't. I don't bother with Little Cup, yeah. but I have a competitive version of nearly most of the Pokemon, so I can pretty much use anything I want if I really need to. Yeah. I mean, I I, I like people who use like not very well known Pokemon. I mean, I don't. I know in the tournament a couple of years ago, someone got to the final using a patch release, which I think was amazing. Oh yeah, people were shocked at that because of how good it was performing. I was just like, well, I to know. be fair, he was using his own ingenuity, so what do you expect? Of course it's going to be good. Yeah, I know, it's like unexpected as well, like people prefer pair teams based on what they think people are going to bring, so... Mm. Everybody um, thinks that everybody's yeah. going to bring like the most powerful shit ever, and it's yeah, it's like, really the most meta stuff. But it's like, because I've recently become gym leader in the Zelda League, and mm -hmm. like my theme is basically wild animals, uh, I insects. I think that's a real good theme. Like wild animals, insects, and plant life as well as sea life so that way i can still yeah, use a variety of pokemon yeah i know yeah they're really open i think like a wildlife is good for you yeah. I, I... so it's just like well okay i can essentially just use what i like to use and i could create yeah, more I... I can use more teams to try and keep people on the toes and if people don't yeah. like that, then they need to realize I'm not an average person. I'm not an average gym leader. Yeah, no. You don't just get... I don't like handing trainers victories on a plate just because... I mean, yeah, props, they've come prepared. But if they're going to moan when we try and counter that, they shouldn't really be playing. Mm. Because it's just like at the end of the day, a gym leader's, you know, purpose is to challenge the way people yeah like. be, be a challenge and stuff yeah but 
trying to remember what type this goddamn thing is. Doesn't matter, he's dead! I just want my moonstone. Oh fuck. I just want to fly back to Media Falls and get my moonstone. Can I just do that please? I want to evolve my soul lock now. Oh my god. What type are you to not be taking much end. damage from surf? Get out of here. Yeah, I think surf's a really good move for a H-chan. Oh yeah. Because it's like, it just shows that not all HMs are completely useless. Yeah, I know. Well, everything is going, going to be destroyed by this thing, I'm thinking. You have Storm Surge. Okay. Look at that HP on the exception now. Fuck my life. Can you like... Thank you. I was gonna say, can you like hit this fucker? Oh, come on, don't start this. This is the longest recording session I've ever done for a Pokemon game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to find an appropriate place to end it, haven't you? Yeah. Just, oh, my god, just, mm. oh my god, what is... Are you serious? Did you seriously just put my... Weezing, wake the fuck up. Oh, you fucking twat. Get out of here, you long ass piece of shit. I'm not bothering with this whole Denju stuff, it's only for like a few minutes and that's it. Really? I have to go up and bloody down again just to get to my medkit. What are you watching? Fucking nothing. Go on. Oh my god. These fucking Golax are just so bloody powerful. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, so that's what. Yeah, it's true. That's what's burning me when I'm facing a zombie with it's the boiling water move. Okay. Basically, freaking scold then. I really wish it wouldn't be happening because I'm having to go back and heal. Alright, I'm gonna go now, so go with right, the rest right. of your recording. Cheers. Right, see ya. See ya. I suppose I didn't cause uh, Skype to come forward. Beach candy bar, woo! Throw any grass types? Uh, no, I do not. Sorry, bro. What? What is it? We picking up super potions?
I'll give that to you now. I'll give it to Davia Puzz another time. Kuriputo, Kuriputo. Alright. Um. You know what? I'm gonna end off this big recording session uh, at the medkit. Because otherwise, this is just gonna get very long and very boring. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm gonna have to split this into three. It's not gonna be equal. It's actually, not gonna be anywhere near equal. But yeah, so I'll see you guys um, after I've uploaded these three episodes. Until then, goodbye and thank you very much for watching.